Hi, this is Matt Levy from CornerOfficeCoach.com. We're doing a series of videos on the keys to successful career management. It's what I call the three A's of attitude, activity, and assertiveness. Today I'd like to focus on the second A, which is activity. Activity is really, really important in your job search. I like to use the analogy of sales. In sales, you need to show a lot of activity. It always shows results. For example, you might need in sales to make a hundred cold calls. Those hundred cold calls will result in, say, ten appointments. The ten appointments will yield five follow-up appointments, which will yield one sale. Managing your career and job search is similar. You need to network with a lot of people, say a hundred people, or apply for a hundred jobs. Those networking and job leads will turn into 10 interviews. Those 10 interviews will turn into five follow-up interviews. And those five follow-up interviews will turn into one job offer. The type of activity that I'm talking about is both in the applying for jobs as well as networking. One quantifiable methodology for activity is what I call the 5-10-5 methodology. What do I mean? Well, the first five stands for five job applications, resume submissions for five jobs that you match at least 75% or more of the requirements. The 10 stands for connecting with 10 new people, 10 power connectors per week. And the second five stands for going to five professional events per month. Now, job search or job seeker networking events are also good, but I'm talking about five professional events where you're networking with people that share your industry expertise, that are gainfully employed, where you can, sh uh, where you can share best practice benchmarking tips. Other type of valuable activities in the networking space include networking with power connectors, heavy influencers, key opinion leaders, alumni, fraternity and sorority contacts, uh, other people in professional organizations, maybe even coaches. These are all examples of great uh, networking contacts. When you're doing all this networking, though, and all this activity surrounding networking and applying for jobs, don't forget about what I call the secret to networking, which is giving. When you're networking, don't talk so much about yourself, but ask open-ended questions. Listen more. I like the saying that Mother Nature gave you two ears and one mouth. Use them in that ratio. Talk about the other person. Ask them questions. Don't focus so much about yourself, but focus on helping the other person. Send them interesting articles, book recommendations. Supply them with networking connections. Supply referrals to them if they're looking for another job. Just basically try to help the other person, help other people in their network, and offer support for personal issues that they might go, be going through. It's a lot of focus on the other person, and that's an interesting thing. Human nature kicks in, where then, all of a sudden, you're focused on helping the other person, and they say, hey, thanks so much, but how can I help you? And that's where you need to be open and understand how they can help you. Get introduced to other power connectors, other influencers, hiring managers, and recruiters.